Hello, welcome everyone, and thanks for joining me. Um, this is our series of videos uh, putting um, various ransomware variants up against our new feature in Crypto Prevent version 8 uh, that we call our honeypot detection uh, routine. Um, we're going to basically show you what happens with uh, the ransomware um, uh, without our protection, and then we're going to enable the protection and uh, see what uh, see what happens. Um, we're just going to be focusing on the honeypot um, feature today. We're not going to be focusing on the other levels of protection. Crypto Prevent offers a wide variety of protections beyond the honeypot and uh, I just want to point out that that's uh, not what we're focusing on today. We're focusing um, on what would happen if it got through everything else um, including any other um, uh, protection mechanisms you may have on your system including those offered by Crypto, uh, crypto Prevent. So uh, without further ado, I have a version uh, or I have a variant of um, Cerber 5.0 uh, or the 5 uh, series, I guess, of, of servers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead here and uh, launch its executable. Now I'm testing this in a virtual machine uh, without net, uh, network connectivity. Um, so um, let's uh, see what happens. I want to also point out that I have documents um, in the documents folder and oh, and uh, spread out in the various uh, document subfolders. They're all the same files, they're just in different locations. So, we'll see what happens here. Um, letting it rip. <clears throat> this could take a little while. Um, this is a typical uh, command prompt launch. We're going to be um, uh, a not so good user and uh, and click on uh, and click on this. Give it the best chance of doing uh, anything and everything that it would like to do. Again, no protections. Crypto Prevent is open at this time period, but I just want to point out that the disable protection is there. I just wanted to have it ready to uh, quickly enable so I could uh, speed up the video for you folks. Now we see a lot of, uh, I don't know if you can see down here, but there is a uh, large amount of uh, disk activity. I'm going to uh, close out of this window here and take a look at our documents, see if anything's going on. Nothing so far. Don't see any changes. Oh, <clears throat> what do you know? That, uh, that looks Attention. pretty bad. Attention. Attention. Your uh, documents, photos, databases, and other important files uh, have been encrypted. So Your documents, five, photos, also, databases, um, and other important uh, files have been encrypted. Uh, Your documents, you photos, the, uh, databases, and other important files uh, have been files encrypted. Have been, uh, compromised Your documents. There, so I'm going to go ahead and mute that, um, as that's very annoying. Um, but as you can see, we're, uh, we're well compromised here. So all those documents there. Um, looks like it got there, too. Uh, looks like it got there as well. And, uh, yep, captured our files there. Uh, and we have our ransom note. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, revert us back here to uh, our previous state. If you can just give me a moment. Uh, the machine's going to go blank there for a little bit. I'll get us back up though quickly, hopefully. All right, so uh, I'm back. And uh, what I'm basically going to do is uh, launch Crypto Prevent and enable its um, honeypot detection feature and that uh, does depend upon folder watch so uh, what I want to do is um, come over here to the protection settings turn on all of folder watch and then we will also enable the honeypot feature um, and we'll come back to here and um, make sure we have that so uh, those are the only protections that I have enabled. If you'll note that under our other settings here, all these are unchecked, so all of our software restriction policies uh, policies uh, are not in place. Um, so 
Uh, normally that would impede the, per, um, the infection as well, um, and also our program filtering. None of that is, uh, is functional in this test. We're solely doing it on the folder watch feature and its uh, associated honeypot detection routine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply that protection. Now, um, we do not need to restart the computer for those changes to take effect. Uh, that um, applies to um, that reboot is uh, designed for uh, primarily for the software restriction policies when those are applied. Um, those do not go into effect immediately, and so the reboot is there to ensure that uh, that happens. But um, these features uh, will be enabled um, without rebooting. So I'll go ahead and close that out, and I'll repeat the same test by um, going into our server 5.0 folder here and uh, launching its executable. And then we'll just uh, sit back and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that just like we did last time. And uh, I'm going to uh, prep us by, I guess I can get rid of this one. I'm going to look at our folders here and see if I can um, see if anything happens. Still seeing a lot of disk activity just as we did previously. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll note that um, the ransomware uh, detection uh, that's part of the honeypot uh, routines, um, that uh, is a struggle basically preventing the um, uh, server in this case uh, from uh, completing its activities and so we're kind of fighting against that. Now you'll notice something different happened this time. Um, we did not uh, see the files uh, flash up and look like they're encrypted. Um, that doesn't mean something didn't happen of course but it's uh, it just means that uh, we're seeing um, the honeypot detection feature activate and again, this is, uh, as I was uh, mentioning earlier, a struggle between uh, it and the ransomware. So it's going to have a, um, an uh, effect on the performance of the system. Um, things are going to appear uh, slow. Um, but what uh, we will see here, and as you'll see, uh, you have our... Um, detection window here giving you um, some information. It's not recommended that you reboot. You should take remediation steps if it's got to this point to ensure that your uh, data is safe. However, um, that's what we're going to do in this case to see the extent of what happened, uh, if anything. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Um, if you uh, were in this situation at home, we'd recommend you take it to a uh, qualified technician. We do have a, a searchable tech directory on our site, foolishit.com. Um, that uh, you can use to uh, help you locate a technician. Um, typically it would be necessary to um, clean boot uh, and, uh, and scan the drive when it's offline, uh, potentially using a boot uh, disk or uh, another method. Uh, the log off procedure and the shutdown procedure and the restart, uh, all of that is uh, going to be uh, a lot slower this time uh, than um, it would normally be. And that's again just our software basically uh, protecting uh, your data files from uh, the encryption, or at least that's the intent.
Okay, um, after what was uh, quite a long um, uh, reboot uh, cycle there, um, we're back in and we're going to see uh, what happens. If this was a persistent um, infection, uh, the server would, re, uh, uh, would uh, I guess, continue and potentially trigger the honeypot uh, detection again. Um, but I don't believe that that's the case, at least not currently. So let's look to see if, if our files are affected. As you can see compared to previously, um, I'll just make sure, uh, compared to previously, um, the data does appear to be completely intact. Let's look at a couple of other locations. Looks good here. Looks good here, and uh, looks good here as well. So um, in this scenario, it doesn't look like any of um, the user's data would have been affected by um, uh, by this ransomware variant here, this uh, server 5.0 or 501 or the five variants. Um, I would say in general. Um, although they do change rapidly, um, we, uh, we seem to stay uh, 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 on par with them as far as our ability to, to block them. Um, let's see, let's also go back into Crypto Prevent and uh, we'll take a look at its um, alert history. And so we can get an idea of where it stopped. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and scan from the beginning of time. And it looks like, uh, yeah, so it looks like this guy here, <clears throat> possible and malicious activity detected relative to the file. So this is one of our honeypot files, and uh, it does appear as if we stopped it at that point. So it basically touched one of our honeypot files and uh, encrypted it, and then um, that, was, uh, that was that. Uh, we do not see any other indication of user data being compromised in any way. Um, so um, you would be safe in this sense. Um, at least your data wouldn't be compromised. You would definitely want to clean the machine and make sure uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, completely free of infection. A lot of times ransomware is accompanied by other types of uh, uh, malware that may um, also cause harm to you. Um, so that shouldn't be overlooked. Um, but uh, I would call this a success. Thank you guys uh, very much for joining me, and uh, we'll try to put uh, a number of other videos like this out as we come across and acquire samples of new ransomware and see how it goes up against CryptoPrevent. I was using version 8.0.1.0 of CryptoPrevent in this test today, um, just for reference. Um, and, uh, and again, I, I believe it was a success, so thank you all, and uh, we'll see you next time.